everyone, welcome back to Law Study Kid. I'm Rabia. I'm a Canadian immigration lawyer based in Toronto, Ontario. And I'm also the founder of Law Study Kid, where I sell sample questions and answers for NCA exams. So today I'd like to talk about where you can find uh, sample questions and answers and how to use them in your exam preparation techniques and also to understand whether you should fully trust the answers written by other professionals or not. So if you're interested, keep watching. So when I was preparing for my NCA exams, one of my biggest struggle was to actually find sample questions and answers. I was able to find sample questions, but I was not able to find answers that I could fully trust or I was, you know, I could just use in my exam preparation techniques. Um, so that's why, you know, when I wanted to start this channel, I decided that I would like to provide sample questions and answers and to kind of let people know how to use them in your exam preparation techniques. So I'll start off with talking a little bit about where you can find sample questions and answers and then explain to you what Law Study Kit is and how Law Study Kit can help you. You can find sample questions on UBC, University of British Columbia's Law Library. Um, I will put a link down below and I've discussed this in my different videos on how to use them and where to find these questions. So I'll link them down below for you to take a look at them. I would highly recommend that, you know, once you take a look at the question, try to answer the question yourself. Make like a summary or put down some bullet points in terms of how you will answer those questions. And then just try to solve them on your own if you can. Uh, because you won't be able to get like answers for those questions but you can definitely use them in your exam preparation um, and just like make a summary of how you would answer that question. Now one word of caution, UBC library has questions based off their exam, uh, sorry, their law school syllabus. So sometimes you'll see questions where you don't know the answer and you're like where is this from? It is most likely that those topics are not included in NCS syllabus. So don't freak out uh, if you're unable to answer those questions because sometimes, like I said, they might not be included in your syllabus. So highly, highly recommend that you take a look at UBC Law Library. You won't be able to find answers, but you can definitely find questions that you can practice. Now, I'd like to talk about Law Study Kit. Uh, Law Study Kit is a platform that I designed myself. I offer sample questions and answers. Now, I want to talk a bit about more about how you can use these answers on your exams. So I'll talk about it first, then I'll also share my screen and explain to you how you can access Law Study Kit and how you can download my notes. So first of all, the sample questions that I've drafted are based off student experiences in the past in terms of what type of questions they, they usually get and from my own experience as well. The questions I've drafted are very innovative in terms of um, they are suitable for today's environment. So some questions are related to COVID, some questions are related to what's happening in the world right now. And the questions that I've drafted cover pretty much most of the syllabus. Um, I wouldn't say all of the syllabus, but covers most topics that are usually tested on the exam. Now, I usually recommend people to, you know, take a look at the question and answer the question yourself first don't jump into the the question the answers that i've written and the reason i say that is because in law school there are no correct answers it's not like the the answer that i've written is the only correct answer that you can get maybe the the the, the answer that you write is also correct maybe the answer that somebody else is right somebody else writes is also correct um in law school you know you have to find a way to argue what you're presenting. So for example, um, you know, if you find a question that asks you whether X will be guilty of murder or whatever it is, um, somebody can say it is likely that X will not be guilty, but if they provide logical reasoning, uh, they cite the case law, they cite precedents, um, the answer is correct because you're able to prove your conclusion. So this is why I recommend that once you take a look at law study kit questions, try to answer them yourself and then take a look at my answers. Now, how to read those answers? 
Um, first of all, I'd like you to take a look at the answers that I've written. I've also provided you with comments which tell you why I wrote the answer this way and what was my chain of thought behind answering this question this way. So, so that, you know, if your chain of thought is different, then you can also understand why I wrote it this way. Your chain of thought is also correct. Uh, but my chain of thought is also correct. It's just a way of how you're presenting your argument. So, again, take a look at the answers. See how I've written the answers. See how I've identified issues. How I have used law and facts to come up with a conclusion. See my analysis. See how the writing is done. Um, see how the answer is structured, the pattern, how I've applied the law. So, sample questions and answers on law study kit is more about learning exam writing technique as opposed to copy pasting the answers, which I would never ever recommend that you do that. No answer is a correct answer. Um, you will not get the same question that I've put on Lost Etiquette. You will never get the same question. So it is more about learning the skill of answering exam questions as opposed to learning them. So um, what I'll do now is I'll share my screen and show you how Lost Etiquette works. And if you're interested in learning more about exam writing techniques and also just learning from um, the way that answers are written, uh, feel free to check it out. Uh, if this is helpful to you, if it is, then you know uh, you can you can go into my website and do a little bit of browsing. So I'll, I'll share my screen now and explain to you how Law Study Kit works. So in order to go to Law Study Kit, you just want to type in www.lawstudykit.com. It will take you to the main page. You can browse the main page by just scrolling down and reading the updates. For example. You can, you can read more about the importance of practicing sample questions and answers for the NCA exams and also to understand how to use Law Study Kit sample questions and answers. I have uh, summed up whatever I'm saying in this video, but if you'd like to read it, you can, you can click on it and it will take you to the page. It's not really long. It's just like a concise summary. So, you know, it, should, it shouldn't take you that long to read this. So you can scroll down and see what questions and answers I have on, on this website. Unfortunately, these are the only ones that I have. I'm working on criminal law and some a few others. Uh, it will take me some time to actually draft them, but these are the ones that I have available. Foundations of Canadian Law, Canadian Professional Responsibility, Canadian Constitutional Law, Canadian Administrative Law, and NCA Business Organizations. So let me take you to one of the kit and I'll show you how to I'll show you how I'll basically show you what the kit has so let's go into Canadian professional responsibility so once you click on it you will see this page which will give you a summary of what the kit includes so you you can read here you will receive six sample six sample questions and detailed sample answers according to the la latest NCA syllabus. So all of my questions and answers are according to the latest syllabus. If for some reason the syllabus has changed, you will see a note saying that this is according to the old syllabus, but I keep a check on these from time to time to make sure that they're updated. It also tells you what topics the, the, the kit covers from your syllabus, so you can see exactly what you're getting. It also tells you the number of words, how many pages it has, and also how to use the sample answers that I have written. Now, in order to just take a look at what you'll be getting, you can click on these little pictures and you can zoom, you can, you can kind of zoom on it to see what, what it has. So, so the first page you'll get is like a cover page talking about, you know, what, what the kit is and it, it tells you that it is revised for May 2020 syllabus. Then it will give you a table of content where you can see how many questions it has. Uh, you, you can see the page number and then also you can see the marks as to how many marks does each question have. Then I've also given you a sample question, the first question. Feel free to actually answer it on your own. Even if you don't feel like purchasing my answers, then you can still, you know, 
answer this question on your own and maybe just make a mental note of what are some of the sections that are applicable here. Now, the sec now this is the first page of the sample answer. And you can see how I have written the answer. I've, um, I'm talking about issue number one. Now, one of the things that I'd like you to note and which would be really helpful for somebody who's preparing for these exams is I have added my own comments explaining to you what everything is. So for example, the first paragraph, I'm identifying issues and I specifically tell on the side over here stating that this is where I've, I, have, I have identified issues. So for example, it will help you understand like when you are identifying issues, what is the language that you need to use? How do you write, for example, the first paragraph? So for example, you can say to resolve this question, three issues must be addressed. And then I'm just putting these issues down. Then the second paragraph is where I'm talking about issue number one and I'm stating what the issue is. And then I'm stating the applicable rule or the law that I think is applicable in the scenario. Again, I'm mentioning here that I'm stating the rule and applying it to the facts. So you can see that, you know, the rule is here and I'm also applying the rule to the facts so that you know where I am doing this and you can pick up on certain wordings, you can pick up on the style and you can also pick up on the skill on how to apply the law to the fact. So pay close attention to this in my, in my notes. So this is, uh, so this is like a, I guess, I, I mean, I think this is a little bit of a sneak peek into what you will be getting. I'm also going to show you something else that might be helpful. Mm, let's go to admin. So in admin law, so when I'm, what I am writing down the question, you, you can also see that I put in a comment here which which tells you how to actually read this question and what to do when you're reading a question which is really really long this is a very long question so put a comment saying for such questions it is a good idea to write down in points each and every step the board took to make the decision and everything that the applicant is in question did so i am actually telling you how to really break down a a question that is this long and to kind of understand how to organize such questions then moving on to the answers now again you can also see my comments here where you will see that I sorry I think I'm trying to zoom in a little bit more and it's not letting me but anyway, so I'm telling you that these are basically all issues you can expect to deal with on an exam so most likely these are all the issues that, that will come up on the exam. But again, I can't say for sure. This is just, you know, my opinion and based on what, you know, previous exams look like. But these are most likely most of the issues that you will, you will deal with. But you will obviously get more issues and you can expect to get different types of questions in, as well. And then I also give you some tips on some issues that I've identified are not if you don't have the time, you don't really have to. But if you want to get bonus points, you can actually include those issues. So for example, I, I state a comment like that over here. So yeah, I mean, feel free to browse around. I also have consultations. If you are looking to speak to me and you want to have like a 40 minute chat and you want to discuss your your scenario in detail, you can book a call with me. I'm happy to answer any short questions over emails and YouTube videos, but if you're looking for in-depth consultation, then you can book a time with me. So you click here. I have some availability Saturday morning. So if you'd like, you can book a call with me. In this call, I can only discuss NCA accreditation process or lower licensing process, but I cannot give out any immigration advice. So if you're interested, feel free to book a call with me and I would be happy to chat with you about it more. Yeah, so I think that's all. Uh, feel free to browse around and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks guys for watching this video. I hope that this was helpful. Like I said, there are no set answers. You should do, you should 
purchase your own books, notes, whatever it is that you want to prepare for these exams. Um, lots of the kids sample questions and answers are only designed to help you understand exam writing techniques and to understand how to break down a question on the exam. So uh, if you're interested, feel free to uh, visit Law Study Kit and I will see you in my next video.